Clover Fresh Milk is the number one milk brand in SA. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back. Thank you for joining us. It's a beautiful Tuesday, Anal. I oh, know, isn't it, Jess? It's a bit chilly still, but we love it. It is, and I think these recipes we're making are perfect for it because they keep you nice and warm, and it gives you a chance to do some stuff in the kitchen with the people you love. What are you making? Today, Tell me. <laughs> Tell me. we're taking it up a notch. I'm learning a lot from you with <laughs> all these levels. So today we're making flapjacks, but we, with a little bit of a twist, we're loading them with mac and cheese. So you call it flapjacks? Uh-huh. I call it crumpets, okay. the American calls it pancakes, and in the Freistadt we call it plat cookies. And then the panna cooker? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anymore, this it's like mystery. confusing. <laughs> I think after Corona we should go on a mission to find out yeah. what is the right, exactly. what exactly is what? Yeah. What's a flapjack? What's a pancake? What yes. is it? Yes. <laughs> All right, anyway, let me get into this recipe. To start it off, we've got some flour. Today we're not using self-raising flour. We're going to have a leavening agent, which today is going to be our bicarb. So what I'm going to do with these, actually, before I even start, is I'm going to sift these into our bowl because we want to lighten up the flour. Mm -hmm. So let's do to that. To get some air inside. Yes. yes. Some little bit of air. So this is a trick. Whenever you're baking stuff that you want nice and fluffy, it's important to mm -hmm. sift the flour. I'm bad with that. <laughs> I forgot about my sieve. My sieve is back in the cupboard. So I'm going to take it out again. I just gooi these days, you know, out of the packet. Have you noticed if it makes a difference or not? Uh, to me, I don't know. I haven't seen a big difference. I must say the cakes still come out fluffy, but, mm. but, but, but okay. um, I know that is the thing that you have to do. True. Okay. So to get... Um, to add a bit more to this, we've got our uh, flour, dry ingredients here. We're going to go in with our wet ingredients. To start it off, we've got our beautiful clover milk that we're going in with now. This is the base of the flapjacks or pancakes. Yeah. <laughs> we're going in with that. And then to this, we're just going to add some milk, sorry, some eggs, and then the rest of our ingredients. To flavor this flapjack, we've got some dried herbs. And if anyone would like to, perhaps you've bought some herbs and now you don't know what to do with them, they're there, they're going off, dry them. You can just do that in the oven, put them on a tray, put it on 60 degrees. Exactly. Yeah. And then forget it for about 30 minutes to an hour. And you can add fresh herbs there as well, not just dry True. herbs. So you've got like fresh herbs, I've got like fresh herbs here today that I'm going to use. So you can put any type of herbs in there. And people will just remember that the dried herbs are stronger than True. the fresh herbs. True. Yeah. So let me just go in and whisk this for us now. You are making something to go with my dish yes. as usual. When you say the word mac and cheese, <laughs> the first thing that goes off in my head is tomato sauce. Okay. Mac and cheese and tomato sauce. I grew up with that. Really? So my mommy used to put like a big, like the, the, the bottle of it awful. You know, we were not fancy people. She put the bowl down and the bowl of tomato sauce and that was it. So I still love it. So all I'm going to do now is to make like a homemade type of tomato sauce. Okay. So I'm going to start with onion that I'm going to fry a bit till it's like sweet and golden brown um, to bring out those beautiful sweetness out of it. Okay. Let me add some oil in here. There While we go. you do that, I've added some stuff to my wet ingredients. I've got my eggs, I've got my oil, the herbs, salt and a bit of pepper. So this I'm going to put together here to make our batter. Perfect. It looks great, Tooms. Yeah, I think the herbs are going to bring in that extra flavor. Flavor. That we Obviously, if your person wants, if you want your batter to be more runny, you're more than welcome to add more liquid. Yes. If you want it nice and thick, I like mine a bit thicker. Yes. So it's easier control, easier to control in the pan. So you just add less liquid. So for, on my side, for my sauce, I'm going to add my onions. I'm going to get this frying off, and then people can use tomatoes or tomato paste or a tin of tomatoes, whatever you've got in your cupboard. And that's what I want to show again, whatever that's you've perfect. got in your cupboard. So I found in our fridge a tomato today. Nice so one. I'm going to Keeping use it fresh. <laughs> fresh tomato. And it's good now to use like overripe tomatoes. Yes. They are perfect for this. Those that you don't want to use in the salads anymore. Ah, so I'm just nice. going to add that to my pan. And tomato also sweeten up beautifully when you cook them. That's very true. Yeah. I actually could, I eat tomatoes raw like an apple. I know it's I weird, know, me but I well. enjoy it. Just a little bit of salt, and that's perfect. Beautiful. <laughs> I believe a tomato a day keeps the doctor away, and not really? an apple. <laughs> yes. But nice concept. But in the olden days, they called a tomato a love apple. Did you know that? I did not know. No, yes. now you know something. So this is like a love oh, apple. And word. I think it's got to do with the colour, the love, the heart, ah, the colour. very true. Yeah. So, so I'm going in with my flapjacks here, my first batch. So we're going to let this cook for a little. Mm. Little bit, and I've been then we go in. For ages. 
And then we go in with a bit of mac and cheese. We don't want a lot. We want to load it up, yes, but not too much. We want to still enjoy the actual flapjack itself. And then a bit more cheese to this. I know the mac and cheese already has cheese, but hey. Yeah. Extra cheese ain't never hurt nobody. What I like is that I thought you are going to mix the macaroni through your batter, so you actually put it on top. On top, but okay. I'm also going to put another layer on top of Another the layer? Yes, because we want them to be sandwiched inside. Oh, wow. So when you bite into your flapjack, your pancake, it's yes. all cheesy and gooey. I'm going to add a bit of tomato sauce to my tomato. Um. <laughs> While you do that, anyone that's interested in making these, you're more than welcome to go onto the website, get this recipe and many others, because you know we've got you sorted during this lockdown. Anything you need, we got you. Tim, so I've added some chili. I like it hot. So I always add some chili and now people <laughs> need to be creative. You can add anything you like in here. So do you like basil or parsley the most? I like basil. Okay, so I'm going to take a bit of basil here and I'm going to chop this up because I'm making this for you to take home tonight. This is going to go so well with the flapjacks. I know, I know. How Just did I not know this before? Tomato <laughs> relish yes. and the flapjacks. That's yes. like a perfect combo. Yes. So I've got a bit of basil in here and then always a bit of garlic if you've got garlic in your home. And as I said, you actually add what you like True. in here. If you like garlic, if you like oregano, if you like rosemary, just add it in here. So nice I'm just going to chop this up. Yeah. What I also like to do with garlic instead of chopping it up is just use a grater. I, I prefer that actually. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, well. I prefer grater because it's quicker, it gets yes. the job done, and yes. it's also because of those juices in the in the it just releases them much easier. And the garlic tastes stronger for me. True. Because it's so expensive already. We want all <laughs> the flavour out of I it. I want to taste my garlic. Tooms, look at this. Can you smell it? Ooh. I don't know if I'll be able to manage like this evening. I've been trying to go on a diet, guys. But Anel is not making me, he's not allowing me to win. No, woman, you are perfect as is. You are perfect. You're the queen of the kitchen. Oh, that's so sweet. We must have something around our bodies a bit. Yeah, it can't no. be too skinny. They say never trust a skinny cook, Tooms. That is true. <laughs> that is very true. And thank you for that. I'm going to go home and enjoy these beautiful flapjacks with that delicious tomato relish that looks so good. The red and the green just go so well together. Yep. It's a perfect combo right now. So I'm going to go in with a couple more of these flapjacks. Yeah. Uh, and maybe, mm -hmm. maybe I'll, I'd have, I'm going to have some of your, your um, what's that? Relish. No, 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 the parsley. I think I'm going to add oh, a bit of that. Oh, do you want some of my parsley? I'm going to yeah. add a bit of water in here because it's, do you want a bit of this? Yeah, let me get that yes. and chop some onto, oh my gosh, this is going to be so delicious. So anyway, I'm going to go in with another batch of my, flapjacks over here. So you're talking about the tomato relish and it made me think about sun-dried tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And the one thing I, I actually do enjoy sun-dried tomatoes. Do you think that would work in this recipe yes, as well? Yes, chopped up. Tomato has got such a beautiful intense flavour. So you can use like the fresh tomato, you can use a tin tomato, you can use puree, you've got the sauce. And the, the, the sun-dried tomatoes, you buy it in that oil. If you chop it up, it's going to just be a much richer, beautiful, creamy tomato flavour that you're going to get. So inside, and now the thing is with people, they must always taste their food. <laughs> this is nearly done. How long does it, did this take? Our whole meal. Are you to for go? real? Yeah. So I'm going to taste now. Ah, oh, salt. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I am heating this kitchen up, Queen. I am heating it up. But and you know salt. this meal would go perfectly with just a Ooh. glass of milk. What about a glass of wine? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with you, woman? Gosh. <laughs> all right, all this. right, all right, all right. Okay, here it is. Now, I'm going to taste this, and I'm going to tell you, mm, tomato always needs a bit of sugar. I agree with you there. A pinch of sugar. And let me tell you, this is perfect. Palissa, you're going to enjoy this. This looks so delicious Ooh. with these flapjacks. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Clover Fresh Milk is the number one milk brand in SA, made with love by Clover.